Move along. There is nothing to see here. Except for that crashed hovercraft. Nah. You see those everywhere these days. Sorry? Dime a dozen. Crashed hovercraft are a dime a dozen? Fifteen a week, ma'am. At the very least. In this city alone. But they say it's the safest mode of transportation available. Statistically, yes. Unless you're aboard one of the buggers. Then your chance of survival drops drastically. What? They're the safest mode of transportation if you stay on the ground. The chances of being hit by one going down are relatively low. Thanks for ruining my trust in modern technology. We're here to protect and serve. Isn't it the other way around? Just keep it moving, ma'am. Nothing to see here. Except for you, officer. Eh? Me? I always did love a man in a uniform. Sorry, ma'am, but I'm gay. Now, move along. Nothing to see here. <coughs> Except for the escaped convict right behind you. I'm on special duty today, ma'am. So that escaped convict will have to take care of himself. After all, who'd guard this perimeter in my absence? Uh, me? I'll be good. That was a rhetorical question, ma'am. You are not qualified. Now, move along. Nothing to see here. Except... I won't tell you again, so move along. There is absolutely nothing to see here. Nothing. Jeez, don't you people have anything better to do? <coughs> Are you feeling all right, officer? Thank you, ma'am. I'm fine. All the dust from the debris is just choking me up. <coughs> Constable Guybrush is a strange hybrid between man, ape, and musician. In addition to being an officer of the law, of course. I think one of his eyes is falling out. The eye came loose. Poor Constable Guybrush. Sorry, Guybrush, but I need to borrow your eye for a while. Monkey see, monkey do. Well, not without this he won't. Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? <laughs> I'd 
like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please? Number? 31366. Hold on. <laughs> Phew! Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Oh, crap! My eye! There you are. Back in your slot. Oh, God, I'm seeing red. I'm having a stroke. Maria! Maria, go get the doctor fast. I'm seeing red. If I remember my digital history lessons correctly, that's what's called a dot matrix printer. They used that in, like, the 18th century or something. Hi, I'm Frank Minnelli. And I feel really guilty doing this. I, uh, love my wife Laura, and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura 0731? Please, 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 please. Yes! I am so good. Again. Now, what to search for? Warren's sister. And that's her colonization number. I'd better remember it in case I need it. I don't think I need to see any more of Warren's rap sheet. He's been... kinda active. Whoa! I think I just killed Warren! Oh well, he's just gonna have to, uh, live with that. At least the cops and corporates won't be after him anymore. Just the morgue. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? Warren's sister. Please, please let there be something. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. I'd better get a hard copy of this for Warren. I'm just going to make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. It's a long shot, but... The Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark, so there must be at least some information available. Jacob McAllen. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. The so-called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. I have no idea what that is.
There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. It's a tiny data cube with a non-standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. <laughs> 